Today's tutorial is all about how to achieve the Japanese Gatari makeup and it's inspired by Japanese model Tsubasa Wasuaka. It's probably one of my most requested looks but it's not too difficult to achieve. All about lashes, there's not much eyeshadow used in her eyes, just a little bit of bronze, a very matte base with pink cheeks and pale pink glossy lips. Let's start! I've already prepped my face with concealer, BB cream and powder. Tsubasa's eyebrows are actually bleached to a point that you can barely see them. Now, I don't have an eyebrow pencil for blonde hair, so I'm just using a really uh, light brown eyeshadow and I'm just going to lighten my eyebrows this way. You can see I also have a blonde wig on. Now, Tsubasa's hair is actually almost like a platinum color, but this is the only wig that I can find, so hope you guys don't mind. Now using some of my face powder, I'm just going to tone my eyebrows down and soften them just a little. Now it's time to apply the colour on the eyelids. Choosing a metallic bronze copper colour, I'm just going to apply all over my eyelid. So while I will look neutral enough on the eyes, it will still sparkle and shimmer. I am using a cream shadow as you can see, but feel free to use your ordinary powder eyeshadow. So with that metallic coppery bronze colour, you want to continue this by applying it on your lower lash line. Next step is to define the crease just a little. So you can use any neutral darker colour to apply on your crease. I'm just using the Max Factor Smoky Eye, so this means I don't need to blend with a brush. You can see that even though I'm not using an eyeshadow brush, it still blends seamlessly. I really should have been wearing my green circle lenses, but I forgot. With a shimmery white or nude eye pencil, I'm just going to run it all over my lower lash line. Now with a very dark black eyeliner, I'm just going to line my upper lash line. So I like to start in the middle of my eyes and then eventually move in the inner corners and then work out again. You want the eyeliner to be thicker as it reaches the outer edges and very winged out. Now I'm ready to apply my false lashes. Now I recommend something with loads of gaps in between for that Japanese look. And then intensify the lashes by applying mascara on it. Of course, applying lower lashes. And again, you want the ones with loads of gaps in between. And I use eye tape on my eyelids just to uh, create the bigger eyelid. White shimmer shadow in the inner corners. Now taking a matte bronzing colour, I'm going to contour my nose by starting in the sides and then working up. Build the colour slowly uh, to avoid your nose looking dirty and use your fingers to blend the colour up. Now I use a face powder to soften out the powder. Now with the same powder with a buffing brush, apply it to your temples and around your cheeks and your jaw just to give the illusion of a slimmer face. And now with a matte pink blush, apply it right on the centre of your cheeks. So don't move up, keep it in the centre. Next, using some concealer, I'm going to apply it on my lips just to tone down the natural pigment of my lips. Define your cupid's bow with a nude lip pencil. Apply a light pink lip gloss. If you want, you can take your black eyeliner and apply it in a outer V shape like so, so it connects with your lower false lashes. This will give an illusion of really wide, really long almond eyes. Now I dust face powder on my face just to modify any signs of shine. It's kind of freaky but also at the same time amazing what makeup and also a wake up day because I actually couldn't recognize myself at all. While it's not something that I could wear on everyday basis, I do respect the girls who have the confidence to rock this look off. I think if you switch the false lashes to mascara, this look could actually be pretty wearable. Anyway, someone showed me this and I thought I'll share with you guys. Posing is as easy as one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, whatever. For some reason, this blonde wig reminds me of myself as a character from my Bobbiosity videos.